So if you saw my last video, you know that this is all that's left of my quote-unquote 5-foot PVC missile. It's really unfortunate because that rocket would have gone seriously high in the air, and the 2x blew up cost me like 25 bucks. So, that sucks. Uh, basically, you can see in this clip, the rocket blew up right after it separated from its flimsy guide rod. It blew up because I made the nozzle far too small for the amount of propellant that it was burning all at once. See, the engine was about 10 inches long, and the nozzle was only about 8 millimeters in diameter, which was way too small. When the rocket took off, the pressure inside was so great that the top of my PVC motor blew off, filling the body with smoke and blowing it in half. And yes, I did light it with a really bad fuse and almost blew my face off. What the hell? <laughs> my next engine will be designed with these problems in mind. Here is a schematic. It is just like the last one I made, only with a few changed dimensions and additional technical modifications. I've decided to increase the nozzle size from 8 millimeters <clears throat> to 12.7 millimeters, or half an inch. I'm keeping the length length at 254 millimeters, 10 inches, and I'm going to increase the diameter of the combustion chamber from one and a half to two inches, which is 50.8 millimeters. It's going to be big and burn for a long time, and I have also decided to place one or two 50 millimeter washers at the bottom of the chamber to serve as a nozzle. So goodbye, kitty litter. Again, I'm using a coupler and a reducer to help contain the immense pressure created by the potassium nitrate sugar fuel. So it looks really the same. I based these designs on a test engine I did a week or so ago. I just scaled them up so it should work just fine. Here's a clip of that test. You can see that it was pretty badass. So if everything works right, I won't have to worry about this happening again to my expensive tubes. You saw that my engines are generating a really high starting impulse. Here's the technique I'm using to get that result. I fabricated a packing device that allows me to mold a hollow tube into an unbound dry mixture of potassium nitrate and powdered sugar. I just simply welded a stack of three washers together and to the end of a hollow steel tube. I then take a rod that serves as the mold and place it into my chamber before I start packing the potassium nitrate. I put in the potassium nitrate and then slide the smaller rod into the tube washer packer thingamabob and hit it with a hammer which allows me to pack the mix around the rod and I don't have to drill into it. This is good because I can make extra long engines that drill bits cannot uh, reach into. They're not long enough and I don't have to worry about friction from the drill bit setting off my engine while I'm making it. So that's good. This works really well and it packs very uniform and sets off very easily and quickly. The mold rod is kind of hard to get out after you've packed it though. You usually need to clamp it and twist it and slide it off slowly. It takes some time and focus but it's very worth it. Also I bought a ton of this super pure potassium nitrate on eBay and it burns uh, so good. So here's a plan for the rocket that this engine is going to push. I don't have the diameter figured out yet, but it's definitely going to be over 7 feet tall. I've also drawn up plans for an ignition system, so I don't have to worry about blowing myself up anymore. I've gotten into a bad habit of lighting rockets with matches, as you've seen in my clips. I also have a few different options for an enclosure for the motor inside the rocket, a fitted design and a variable length design. All of these plans are, are available for download at pdxpower.com slash download, so go check it out. Leave me comments, praise, hate, whatever, I'm sure I'll get it all. Shout out to Percatron and KNO3Me, you guys inspire me so keep it up. So everyone, be safe. Think before you do anything risky and just know that when you're building big engines like this you want to make sure and keep fire and any other source of ignition far away from your work until you're ready to let her fly otherwise you could have a serious problem on your hands if your hands are still attached to your body so peace <laughs>